Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, today is pre she day for me. I don't feel too fucking good. Tried working on this a little bit, but I can't see the goddamn tape measure. So I keep fucking cuts up. We're running out of insulation at this point. So today I'm working outside. Yesterday uh, pretty much was uh, a day off for me. We went yard sailing and went to look at, uh, try to find this, find out if this auction was open. They wound up not being and we found some yard sales and flea market we went to. And then I pretty much called it a day because humidity got to me real bad. Plus, I ate a uh, sub yesterday and screwed my stomach bad, but I had to eat, so. Wasn't one of those things I wanted to, but. Today's a day off for Troy. He. Yesterday, Troy went to, um. He had to go get. It. He had to go up to uh, Harbor Freight to get a um, a press and they went fishing for the rest of the day today is church day and I don't know what, they, what else he's doing they are trying to find some vitamin C for uh, canned potatoes. And who knows what else she'll do. I've been working on this. Had to re-rake the whole area back up. It's been taking me a couple days because, you know, it's getting windy out and stuff. So, it's blowing crap all over the place as you can see. And I still gotta clean up where the tin was laying on crap. But I got the place pretty much cleaned up. Me and the old man's got a lot done. We moved that big bridge that killed us Friday. And it was just me and him and a little little yellow dump trailer. And then we had to load up the uh, war tank, the war heater was there. And that's pretty much all I've gotten done so far. A little clean up like I said, I'm real sick today. The weather's been beating the crap out of me. Especially these cold damp nights around here in Michigan. And during the day it's humid and at night it's just just damp dampness is what's doing it to me you know how it is especially when you don't have a basement heated dampness comes up through the floorboards no matter where you are it's not bad when you live in a trailer but when you're right on the ground, the sandy soil might drain, but you know the floor will stay like an AC, and you know heat rises. So unless you have radiant flooring, which you don't find many people with, you're kind of shit out of luck. You gotta deal with it. But by the time you see this video, I'll finally be online. September 3rd, I'll finally have internet. Gonna cost me 120 down, but because I don't have any credit, so it is what it is. But that's pretty much all going on. I'm just picking at this stuff slowly. 
Later on, I'll make another video showing, you know, what I got accomplished. You know, by the looks of the sky, we might get rain, so might not be doing any more video. I'll show you the trail real quick. Yeah. A lot of crap to do. I still gotta get winter clothes, which... That's gonna be expensive to sell. I've been trying to find them. But pretty much... They're... They're not out in the stores yet, and everything I need to, I need to try on. So it's kind of most stuff's like rolling dice. All right, here's the tra um, trailer we used. We just had it was a pain in the ass load, especially that fridge. That fridge weighed a million pounds. I remember now why I stopped doing um, refrigerator and stuff installs. Used to do that for a living back when I was 18. Pay wasn't good enough and shit was too heavy. And then the boss wanted me to start doing the shit on my own, which he needed help with. He wanted me to go out on my own and a friend of his to go in so they could smoke pot all day long. And expect me. He used to get pissed because I wouldn't smoke during the day. And he wanted someone just to party with and do all the heavy shit work. So. That's why I got out of that racket. We used to do all the major installs for uh, Circuit City, Best Buy, sometimes Sears, you know, and a lot of type of crap. That's the tow bar for the tractor. Good old girl. You know, we heard ourselves doing that, and then we heard ourselves loading all this heavy crap, because, you know, it was me and him there to do it, so... Me and the old man had to do it. Gotta get shit done. What can you do? Still trying to get this place cleaned up. So I can get business rolling. Because I still gotta build a log processor by myself. So I can start processing all this firewood. I'm probably gonna have to... Come up with money for an engine for the uh, wood splitter. So I don't have time to rebuild it. Really need help out here. So I'm hoping maybe. You know, if someone's willing to volunteer for a while. That lives in Michigan. That wants to come out and you know help with everything. And. So I can get stuff going where I could actually pay someone. You know. You guys will be welcome. But. At this point. Uh, it's not looking good for me. I'm getting shit done. I got so much to do. And so little time left. Because. You know. I have I put a lot of hours in to clean this place up. A lot, a lot of days. And I can't get business rolling until I'm done cleaning this place up. That's why no matter how bad I feel today, I'm out here doing it. It's what men do. Yeah. If you're not... If, you're not, if you don't do it, nobody else is going to, yeah. Alright, like I said, I'll try to get another video done tonight showing you progress. If not, I'll do another video when I can. 
Like I said, by the looks of the sky, it's getting ready to pour and fill my body. And that's the other thing. It all depends on weather. Weather's been, it's been raining a lot here and there, so that puts a damper on things and slows me down. So, I'll talk to you guys later on. Bye.